Philippines, we are now in financing. Di ba, ang financing, Duara Manasional, it may be financed by a long-term liability or financed through an issuance of equity instrument. So that's why, in this case, we will discuss long-term liabilities in equity accounts. So sa so, sanigdas of audit of liabilities, so as you can see here, if you're talking about existence or occurrence, so actually, even yan is other books na ginaisa niya ang investing o gang financing is because gamay lang magod sila ang transaction. Sa dili man every, every, every day na nag-acquire sila or di kaya every day nag-apangayo o finance or funds needed. So to determine this one, the payable exists at the end of the balance sheet. So obtain a client listing of all accounts, uh, particularly notes payable and reconcile them to the ledger. Vouch record the liabilities here and then vouch record the liabilities to vendor statement and confirm recorded liabilities directly with supplier or creditor. So investigate differences when it comes to this one and you are to ask for uh, recorded book amount. So you're actually from ano diba, records down to the source document. So maybe you can actually confirm those payable to the supplier. Another one is if we're talking about mga loans, mga loans payable. So if it is related to loan class, syempre, what you're going to do, you're going to ask for bank confirmation. So especially mga loan payable yung issued by a financial institution sa bank. B naman, completeness. So completeness, you're going to start with uh, source document or records so if all of the transactions are recorded. So, to examine all transactions related to payables have been properly recorded. So, it may be performed cut-off examination. So, the pa rin no? And test for unrecorded liability. So, this is actually the focus here. Okay. And perform analytical procedures. So, it may be to compare the previous differences sa previous year o saka karong year. Then, rights and obligation naman. So, as you can see, determine that payables are valid. Yeah. And legal claims of the third party on clients. So, review of documentation of the client's funds. And then examine subsequent payment to creditors. So, this is actually other alternative procedure if we cannot actually test the yun yun, confirmation coming from the supplier. Valuation or an allocation. So, to determine that annotated, annotated siya sa registry of if na utang magigit sa company, makita man sa land title. If naka annotate siya, it means to say ang katong uh, land land o gihimo sa collateral, collateral for a loan. So pwede po tani mo i-check if naka annotate bagit siya sa uh, registry of deeds R R O D R or R O D. Uh, sa city ra man as city sa capital man sa dapit. Yeah. So valuation and allocation determine that the payables are recorded in proper amount so you may perform risk competition no? so yeah vouch accounts payable schedule and even test competition of accrued or prepaid interest presentation discussion naman so we're talking about the determination of payables presented and disclosed according to the standard if that is actually the requirement under the standard or not scan the list of payables and that each major type of obligation is properly classified and described so, kung dapat accounts payable ba siya, accounts payable ba siya, loans payable ba siya, loans payable budget siya, or you need to reclassify, okay? There is a need to reclassify those liabilities. So, check nyo lang. Determine the contingent liabilities are properly disclosed and obtain client's representation ledger, letter with regards to uh, estimates, yung mga estimates. Yeah. So, let's try to compute yun nga, long-term liabilities. In the first one, ito, Illustrative problem, so we will use yung method of amortization, yung straight line. Okay. So yung problem number one, this is more on straight, spelling din ako kapal, straight line amortization. Betolo matokabuok ang pag-amortize sa discount or premium. It may be with the use of yun yun, straight line amortization. Second is outstanding balance method. The third one is a requirement by the standard effective interest method. So let's try the straight line amortization of the premium or discount. Uh, so as you can see here, you do have Cabo Finance Company. 
So you find the following ledger of in account balances. So you do have your 25 year uh, 25 bonds uh, payable in 11 issue. So you do have your ratio once at face amount. Treasury bonds, which is 216. Uh, Naka debit sa sa gipalit niya no? treasury bonds. So bond premium, so as you can see here, premium pala siya na no? so, 50,000. And bond interest is using straight line method of amortization. Uh, interest expense pa pala ito. So bond interest expense related to this one, 12%. So the bonds were redeemed for permanent cancellation in October 1, 2015. So as you can see here, kaya siya meron treasury bonds because this was redeemed. Ayan. October 1, 2015. So, magkano yung price niya is 100, 100, 105 or 1.05 1.05 then plus the accrued interest. Ayan. So, kanay di ang 216. Okay. This is the face amount of the bonds plus the 1.05 plus the interest. Okay. Yung accrued. Since this is uh, permanent and the redeem siya between interest rates so expect for interest uh, accrued interest so based on the above uh, result of your audit determine the following so the adjusted balance of the bonds payable as of December 2015 okay. so as you can see the bonds issue was 16 oh, 16 1,600,000 and then the next one is na redeem man to so in this case, as you can see, 200, supposed to be diba, 216 man siya. But sabi nga dito, ang 216, this is inclusion na po ng 105 plus the accrued interest. So dapat ang i-deduct ni mo dari as a 116 is at face amount. Pinaday ang face amount ang 216. Okay. So money sa pag-compute niya dari ah. Uh, or kumbaga, diba? Ang pag-compute sa 216 kaya ang face amount, face value niya, okay, times, kung sa ganun ito ganun, times 1.05. Okay. Plus ang katong interest, kung sa ganun pag-compute sa interest ganun, di ba, interest is face amount times the rate, magkano yung rate, that is 0.12, times ilang ka months ang nag-accrue, so, months nga nag-accrue. Paano sa ganyan yung hang dates yan yung class? Ah, June. Ah, July. So, pila ka months from July to October. FB times 1.05 plus FB times 0.12 times 1. Mga nga ito nag-X na lang, pwede mo maglubo. So, X is the present. Uh, so, yung present office value. Okay, and then, which is X. Okay, and then multiplied by interest rate multiplied by pila ka months ginito from July to October. So, July, uh, August, September, no? so three months. So, three over two. So, this is pinag ito? 216. So, ang kanil class, ang 216, gika, gika na siya sa 1.05 and then the interest plus the interest. So, since ang question here is the face amount, so itong x. So, this was the question, the face amount. So, ang saan niya siya pag-compute? So, x times 1.05, so 1.05 plus uh, 0.12 times 3 divided by 12. So, ilan man lang siya. So, 0.12 So, 0.12 times 3 divided by 12. So, lang siya 0 0.03. So, 0 0.03 x and that is 216. Then continue, 1.05 plus 0 0.03, so 1.08x. 
Ito na ito na, di natin yun dapat din. No? Sa equals. Ayan. So, 216, this one. And, ang sagay ito ganyan, i-divide nyo mo ang 1.08. Ayan. One point zero eight, then cross out the one point zero eight. So picas na balin sa picas. So therefore, na say face amount by how much? So two one six divided by one point two. Two one six. Divided by 1.0. So, nasa ito ang ito. Okay. So, this is the formula to get to 1.6, di ba? Kasi sabi dyan sa given. So, the redemption was at 105 or 1.05% plus the accrued interest. So, kumbaga... X, which is the fees a month, then multiply by 1.05 plus ang katong interest. This was this one. The problem here is baliktad yung question kasi yung question is yung fees a month. Hindi given yung fees a month. So that's why you use this one. So 1.05x and then this one, 0.03x plus the same man, di ba? So 1.08x divided by 1.08 to another side. Ah, two one six divided by one point zero eight, and actually two hundred as the face amount, and that will be to be deducted sa beginning. Ah, it bonds face amount ng bonds. So ang nabilin na lang ng bonds payable as of December thirty one, twenty fifteen, is one million four hundred. So the answer for this one is letter. Okay, so na gets ba niyo na kaniyang isang formula? Magam na siya ng power back na power. Na, okay. Baliktad ang kuha ng kung isang piece ano. Okay. okay. Yan. The next one is the balance of an amortized bond premium. Okay. So no need na lang to compute for the ano. Okay. So as you can see here, you just compute for this one. 80. Diba 80 yung balance ng bond premium. So, 80 multiplied by 14 over 16. So, asa nigi ka ng 14 over 16? So, muna siya ang katong remaining. Diba? 1, 4. Kumbaga, fraction ng 1, 4 at saka 1, 6. Fraction ng 1, 4 at saka 1, 6. Kaya siya 14 over 16. Multiply din mo sa remaining number of years. Okay. Diba, pila ganito ka years gani ang bonds? Ang bonds is 25 years, diba? Asa gani dire ah. Diba, 25 years. And then, kaya sa gani siya nagsugod? 2011. So, straight line lang man siya. So, divided by 25 years. And then, pila na lang ka years ang nabilin? Diba, 2011 nag-start. And the question was 2015. Therefore, ang uh, na-expire, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15. So, 5 years ang na-expire, ang nabilin na lang kay 20 years. So, ang nabilin na itong gamito na, kaya question man, Drea, is ang um, balance for an amortized bond premium. So, that's why 20 over 25. So, 25 years, and then 20 years remaining. So, that is 56,000. So, next one, let's, have, let's compute for total bond interest expense for 2015. Ganyan, ganyan. This is just by nominal interest. Okay. So nominal interest it is one four times twelve. So bakit one four? One four yung remaining no, and the remaining is for the entire year. So that's why twelve percent. So nasa yung one sixty. And ang kaniyang two hundred. Okay. Ang kaniyang two hundred. Mo niya ang na redeem, di ba? So na redeem siya. 12%, pero, kanong sagi siya na-redeem? October na, di ba? October 1. So, pila ka months na siya from January 1 to October 1. So, na siya ay 9 months. Di ba? 9 months. 
Wala yung tilang October, kaya October 1 man siya. So, 9 over 12 ang interest. So, na siya ay 18. So, 168 plus 18 mo na siya supposed to be ang nominal interest niya. But since this is premium, issued at a premium, so na siya ay additional interest. Okay? Additional interest. Uh, not additional interest, but deduction. Interest deduction. Okay? Kasi nga premium. Ayan. Uh, saan na ganito? The bond retired. So, as you can see, the bond retired is 80,000 divided by 25 years multiplied by 2 over 16. Bakit siya 2 over 16? Because this was the 200 nga. Nag-worth na siya fraction niya. So, 200. Mara siya 200 over 16. So, mawag siya. Ang 200, di ba, ang na-retire? Okay. Divided by 1.6 times 9 over 12. Bakit 9 over 12? Kasi nga, this is good for January to October na amortization. Okay? January to October na amortization. So that's why 9 over 12. So nasa 300 na amortization of premium. So pag premium siya, debit ka ng premium, a discount premium, debit ka din, interest expense. So remaining bonds naman, so as you can see here, the remaining bonds is 80 divided by 25 times bakit 4 over 16. Yes. So 4 over 16 is big cost. 4, 1, 4 ang nabilin, di ba? 1, 4 and then the total is 1 million 600. So that's why meron siyang uh, amortization on the premium for 1, 4 na portion for the amortization. Uh, 1, 4 na portion for the premium. Yeah, 80,000. So, nasa 2,800 for the remaining bonds. So, 2, 2, 8 plus 300. So, nasa 3, 1 as the amortization for the premium. So, pag premium siya, that is deduction sa interest expense. So, nasa 1, 8, 2, 900. The gain or loss of partial redemption of bonds is, so as you can see here, the redemption price was 200 at saka 1.05. As you can see 1.05, this is the quotation price na. Kani, dili ni siya pasabot ng 105 di multiply. This is actually percentage. So, 1.05 na siya. 1.05. So, that was the price. Kumbaga, murag selling price niya. No? Multiply ni mo sa book value or carrying value of the bonds retired. So, the face value is this one. 200. Plus the amortization of bond premium. Okay. So, sa ang pag-amortize sa bond premium, gamitan lang ninyo kay ang uh, straight line method. So, di ba, 80 ang katungkuhan niya, total bond premium. Then, pila ang portion ana sa 200. So, ang portion ana niya sa 200 kay, kani. So, ang kaning 2 over 60 na is 200 over 160 na siya. Mangunguha lang siya portion sa 80. 80 magunan ang total. Total magunan ang 80. Okay. So, manguho lang siya o portion sa 200, related sa 200. That's why na siya yung yan. And the next one is ang katong remaining number of uh, years. Diba? This, this is straight line. So, divided by 25 lang. Divide by the number of years. And kanin 20.25, mawani siya ang remaining remaining life or remaining uh, yun na, life of the bond. So, 2020. Diba? 2011, no? 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, so, wala na yung 4 months. So, diba? 21 years na lang na nabilin. Pero naamay, 9 months. Ang 9 months, that is 75.75, no? 9 over 12. Ano ba? 75.75. Okay. So, pila ka months, ganin ang nilabay. So, 4.75. Okay. So, ang nilabay nga months kay 4 years, ay nilabay nga years is 4 years plus 0.75. Asa yung ka ng 0.75? Ang katong 9 nga months which is from January to October. So, 9 months, di ba? 9 months. So, 9 divided by 12. So, 0.75 plus 4 years nga nilabay from 2011 2014. So, plus 4. So, na siya ay, ah, sorry. Dapat 4.12 na siya. So, 4.75 na months, a years na nag-lapse. So, minus, pila ganito ka, years, ganito 25. So, na siya ay 
25 na remaining number of years. So, remaining. So, na siya ay amortization of the premiums. It, was, it is added to the face value of the bonds. So, 8 bonds. So, dako ang yun na bayad. Dako ang yun na receive. Ang libo mo ko sa bayad na receive. Nareceive na yun na kasama ng utang. Ah, dako siya na receive. So, 208 1,100. So, nasa ay 210 na redemption price. So, nasa ay loss on redemption. Okay. So, as you can see, do have good reality problem number 2. So, this is example as an uh, example of compound financial instrument. So, yun, that, I think that will be for the next paragraph in compound financial instrument. Let's start po na with the first paragraph. So, on Jan- uh, January 1,015, LS Corporation issued 2,000 of its 5-year 1,000 face value of the bonds. 11% bonds dated January 1 at an effective annual interest y- uh, rate yield of 9%. So, yung 9% is the effective interest rate. 11% is the nominal. So, the interest is payable each December 31. So, annually. So, LS uses effective interest method of amortization. So, Uh, yun nga, which is requirement by the standard. So, December 31, 2016, the 2,000 bonds were extinguished early through acquisition of an open market by LS for 1,980,000 or 1,980,000 plus accrued interest. So, let's start with the first one. The question for number one, the carrying value of 2,000 five-year 1,000 face value uh, of the bonds on December 31, 2016. So, the first thing to do is you are to compute for the issue price as of December 31, uh, January 1, 2015, which is the issue date. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, the first one is you are to use uh, at magkano ba yung interest rate? 9% na. 9% for 5 years. And it's intended for 5 years. So, as you can see here, you do have here the principal, which is 2 million yung 2,000 na bonds multiplied by 1,000 pesos face value of each bonds. So, mayroon siyang 2,000 principal. Multiplied by the PV of 1. Bakit siya PV of 1? Because this is principal na. And it's payable for one, uh, lump, uh, one lump payment. So, lump sum na payment. So, 0.6499. So, how to compute for this one? You'll know this one already. No? So, I'm going to guys. So, you do have 1 divided by 1.09. And this is for 5 periods. No? So, your equals is 5 times. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, meron siyang 0.6499. Bakit siya 0.6499? Kasi it was stated here. Or baka siya for decimal places because it was already stated here in the problem. The trend of your answer for four decimal places. Ayan. And then, in continuation naman, so in this one, magkano pala yung interest? So, interest every year is 2,000 multiplied by the nominal rate na 11. So, meron siyang, I think this is 220 na. Ayan. And yun sa pagkuha ang 3.8897. So, this is based on, on continuation here. So, continue lang po ito kasi ito compute for uh, present value ordinary annuity of one. So, bakit siya ordinary annuity kasi yung interest is payable annually. Okay, so, annually po siya. So, continue this one. Minus 1. And then, the equals divided by 0.09. So, 3.8 Uh, 8897 So, disigard mo lang yung negative uh, So, meron siya 3.8897 So, this is the uh, present value of the interest Add mo lang yung dalawa That is the issue price of the bonds So, 2155534 And then, after this one This is not the answer no? Kasi this is the issue price at January 1 The question here is you Carrying value of the bonds As of December 31, 2015 So, there is a need to amortize yung premium Ayan. premium sorry okay premium bakit siya premium because 2,000 yung fees na mas malaki yung issue price Ayan. so mayroon siyang premium 
So the two, uh, ISO price, which is two million one five 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 three four, and then less the premium amortization. So the nominal is two thousand. Ato million multiplied by eleven percent. So meron sa nominal interest rate, uh, interest yeah, na two twenty. And the effective interest is two one one five, which is the ISO price multiplied by nine percent in discount. So meron sa one nine three nine nine. So Meron silang amortization on the premium amounting to 26,002. So that's why ito minus this one. So the answer is carrying value as of December 31,015 of 2 million 129,532. So approximately the answer for this one is letter B. Okay. So you can actually use class na sa aside from this one, ito medyo matas siya. You can actually use 9% at 4 periods. So, bakit siya 4 periods? Because, di ba, this is 5 years. And then, nag-lapse na siya o 1 year. Di ba? Kasi, December 31, 2015 and then, nag-start sa January 1, 2015, right? Maraming 1 year na nag-lapse. So, 4 na lang ang remaining. Okay, yung carrying value is 4 years na lang. So, instead of using 5, change mo lang into 4. You can actually compute this one. Then, compute also this one. So, it can uh, you can arrive also with the same answer. Approximately. Pero meron changes sa ano, no? Uh, sa amount sa mga last two digit, last uh, First digit lang pala. Kasi nga, it's because of rounding of error. So, approximately, the answer for this one is 2129500. Okay. Okay. And then the second one here for number two, gain on early retirement of bonds. So the retirement price as mentioned sa problem is 1980. Then get the carrying value of the bonds as of December 31, 2016. So another one year amortization. So using this one, this table, okay, that you can also use yung shortcut po natin. So ano yung shortcut po natin? So yung 2129. 500, 2, 1, 2, 9, uh, 5, 3, 2, and then multiplied by 1.09, uh, which is the uh, effective interest rate, and then minus ni mo sa nominal interest na 220. Ayan, so you can arrive sa 2, 1, uh, 0, 1, 1, 90. Ito, this one. Kasi meron ka ng carrying amount of the bonds as of December 31, 2006. Next one is you are to get the difference ng dalawa. So that is considered as gain on early retirement of bonds. So bakit siya gains? Because, di ba yung liability niya is 2,101,190. Pero ang nabayran lang niya for the retirement price is 1,980. So which is less than the amount of the liability. So therefore, meron sa gain on early retirement of bonds. Uh, so, gain on early retirement of bonds. Yeah, so, 1, 2, 1, 1, uh, So, approximate this one. So, approximate yung answer dito. Okay. So, let's sabi number 3. Number 3 naman, so this is yung second paragraph. Yeah, so, yung merong compound financial instrument. So, let's try to take, uh, to read muna the first, the second paragraph. So, on January, July 1, 2015, LS issued 5,000 of its 6-year uh, 1,000 face value, 10% convertible bonds. And take note, it is issued at par. So, same lang yung issue price at yung face amount. Okay. So, the interest payable is uh, every June 30 at saka December 31. So, therefore, this is semi-annual. So, on the date of issue, the prevailing market interest rate with similar debt without conversion of sums 12%. This will be our basis for computing the liability component. So, on July 1, 2016, then investor in LS convertible bonds tendered 1.5 bonds for conversion into 15,000 shares of LS common stock. So, na-convert na yung bonds. Uh, portion lang, which is yung 1.5. So, with, uh, which has uh, had a fair value of 109 and par value of 1 at the date of conversion. 
So question number three here. Yeah. So the what is the carrying value of five years, six year, uh, five thousand six year, one thousand pesos face value of the bonds on December thirty one two thousand fifteen. So you have to compute for the carrying amount of the liability component. Yeah. So first one is get the liability component. So the liability component here is computed using this one, liability. So parang same lang yung kanina. So you have to compute for the parang issue price. No? Kasi nga in this case, ito. So 5,000 multiplied by 0 0.4970. So, as you can 0.497, so this is PV of 1. Nang, magkano ba yung effective rate? So, the effective rate without conversion option is 12%. So, instead of 12%, diba, this is semi-annual, so 6% po siya. Okay. Silang years ba? 5 na sa so 10 ako? Ah, 6 to 12. Woo! Go on yun, 12. Kung ito ang imano-mano. Try doon na ito, B. So, 0 point, uh, 6 percent. So, 1 divided by 1.06. So, by how, uh, 11, uh, 12, no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it's 0 0.4970 or 4969. Uh, 70. So, this is the PV of 1 using yeah, at 6% uh, for pilaka, uh, periods, 12 periods. And then using PV of ordinary annuity of 1 at 6% using 12 periods. So continue lang po ito. Minus 1 and then equals divided by 1.0. Ah, not 1 point. Divided by 0.06. So, yung interest. So, meron siyang nawala. Mm -hmm. Balik po tayo. So, point this is uh, 1 divided by 1.06 and this is 12 na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Minus 1 equals then divided by 0 0.06 so, meron siyang 8.3838 na PVOA1. So, this is the present value of the interest, the present value of the principal, add mo lang yung dalawa. The total liability component is 4,589.50 and the proceeds, no? Kasi it is at par, so therefore, it is at face amount 5,000. The difference ng dalawa, that is the equity component, 419. 0.50 So, meron sa 4.1.0.50 for the equity component. But the question here is the carrying value of the bonds. So, yung carrying value of the liability component. So, amortize this one. 4.5.80.9.50 Okay, ito po. Using this one. Pwede kaya yung shortcut po natin. So, ano yung shortcut natin? Once again. So, this is 4.5 uh, 80 950 ah, hindi ko matay so 4, 5, 80 950 and then multiplied by 1.06 right and then deduct this one by how much the nominal interest say 250 right 250 so minus 250 okay so, meron siya 4605807. So, the answer is 4605800. Uh, approximate. So, puro sa approximate din yung mga answer. And for number 4 naman, regarding the conversion, so, no, convert yung bonds July 1,016. This is to uh, amortization. No? So, it will increase the equity by. So, how much is the APIC? Uh, so, yung change na APIC. So this is uh, increase equity by. Oh, so yung yung question na. So as you can see here, you do have the carrying value of the bonds convert. But before that one, let's have, let's compute muna the carrying value of the bonds as of this uh, 
July 1, 2016. Okay. So, as you can see, as of July 1, 2016, meron siyang carrying value of the bonds na no? 4632155. And based on this one, uh, so we can compute the carrying value of the bonds converted. Kasi hindi lahat ng bonds kinonvert, only 1. So, ito, 4632155, which is yung carrying value of the bonds as of total bonds, no? as of the same, uh, July 1, 2016, multiplied by yung fraction, which is yung portion lang na na-convert. So, meron siyang carrying value of the converted bonds, no? 1389647. And then, deduct mo lang po yung power value of the common shares is suit. So, meron po siyang liability. Uh, hindi sa liability, additional accredited to a peak. Uh, additional peak in capital. So, 1374647. So, this is the answer. Uh, answer is not to repeat. And the adjusting entry for this one is you do have bonds payable. Debit kasi it was converted. Uh, and the discount is also deducted. Which is 1389647 minus 15. So, meron siyang discount this one. Then the common stock here for at par value. Okay, so one peso kasi yung par value, right? So one five times one thousand, and then times one peso. And the apik naman is yung answer one three seven four six four seven. Okay, so let's have some study test of equity accounts. So, so partnership and partnership equity accounts in general examination of capital accounts and drawing accounts for so partnership and partnership will involve application of the same principles. So, analysis are made for all proprietorship accounts from the beginning of the business and initial capital investment and any additional stress in cash and assets recorded in the net income or loss, or even withdrawal. Okay, kasi nga, in here in the component for capital under sole at saka partnership equity. So, any changes sa net income, it will be charged to capital. Unlike with uh, the corporation, kasi meron sa separate account, which is yung retain earnings. Okay. So, let's have automatic dito po sa assertions and objectives. So, you have to verify different assertions. For example, existence or occurrence. Completeness. Uh, Rights and obligation, evaluation or allocation, then presentation and disclosure. So the first one is your existence or occurrence so that to determine the validity of the recorded shareholder's equity balance and whether the transactions actually occur. So obtain siyempre schedules of shareholder's equity account and you are to reconcile that one in the general ledger balances. So check nyo if they are in balance or otherwise it is already a findings. No? Bakit isa balance yun? Bakit merong difference? Then, review authorization in terms of uh, shares issue. Kaya nga, sabi ko kanina, nabihira lang kasi yung mga changes ng, ano, ng share capital. Kasi nga, pag may mga changes kasi it is well properly authorized. Dapat supported with board resolutions, uh, nasa minutes of meetings ng company. Okay. O given dyan, eh, pag nga yung mga increase, dyan for authorized share capital. So, if they don't change that one, kailangan pa nyo ipa-approve sa Securities and Exchange Commission. Yes po. So, kailangan pag-approve one. So, confirm share of standing with your registrar eh, or on the share, so you transfer agent. Inspect share certificate books. Oh, share certificate book. Inspect certificate shares held in treasury. Siyempre, this is treasury so it's because you have, you have re-acquired that one. And completeness naman determines so this is more on recording. So additional above measure procedures perform analytical review procedures. So it may be hard to compare the previous year at saka yung current year na. So it means to say, ano no, na ay changes. Baka merong mag-increase. Okay. Baka merong nag-withdraw. Okay. Kung nag-decrease sa baka merong nag-withdraw. Pag nag-increase sa baka merong nag-additional investment. So, that's an obligation. Determine entity has authority to execute shareholders' equity transaction. So, whether shares' capital were leg was legally issued and shareholders have the legal claim on corporate assets at the date of balance uh, balance sheet. So, review articles of incorporation. So, it was already mentioned sa articles of incorporation. Even no mga corporators having, yun nga, mga authorized subscribe at saka yung paid up. And even the bylaws. 
So, make inquiries about legal counsel also. Valuation or allocation. So, siyempre, determine whether the shareholders equity balances are shown in proper statement amounts. So, pag share capital, par value mo na. Uh, so, yung mga capital accounts. And then, voucher capital entries and even ito, dividends entries. And entries to retain earnings for it may be closing ba, profit. Presentation on disclosure. So, this is more on disclosure requirement. It may be coming from the notes to financial statement. Or di kaya any, any uh, disclosure sa uh, balance sheet. Right. So, review minutes of board of directors meetings for share options and even a uh, dividends restriction. Then, evaluate financial kasi this will be uh, the need for it may be no, yung unappropriated at saka yung appropriated retain earnings. Evaluate financial statement presentation disclosure for shareholders equity accounts. Okay, so as you can see here, we are now in industry problem number one. So this is Blackpink Corporation and was authorized at the beginning of the year at 2018 with 300,000 authorized shares and 100 par value common stock. So at uh, December 31, 2018, the stock's equity section of Blackpink was as follows. We do have here the beginning balances for 2019. So cutting nyo lang po ito and change this one. So make it the balances beginning as of uh, January 1,019. And then, the transactions for 2019 as mentioned here. So, on January, uh, June 15, 2019, uh, the BP issued 50,000 shares of its common stock for 6,000. Ayan. So, take note that the, the common stock is issued uh, or recorded at par value. Always par value yun siya. Okay. So, in this case, uh, as you can 5 million, so this is 50,000 multiplied by 100 na par value. So, meron siyang 5 million as common stock. And the excess is attributable to a peak or additional feed in capital for 1 million. And then, the next one here is your stock's dividend. The stock's dividend was declared on September 30,000 and issued on December and uh, November 10, 2019 to stockholders uh, of record on December 31, 2019. So, the market value of the common stock was 110 per declaration on the date. So, remember the small shares, so small share dividends are yung large share dividends. So, pag small share dividends, uh, the this is small share, right? Kasi 5% siya. So, therefore, the amount or the basis for the shares is at market value. So, yung market value, kasi pag large share dividends, the, the base will be the par value. So, in this case, don't forget again that the common stock is issued at par value. So, that's why, uh, asan yun siya? Yan, 5% of 30 at saka yung 50, no? So, 80. 80,000 times uh, 5%. Diba kasi beginning meron siyang, magkano pala yung beginning? Yes, ang beginning meron siyang uh, 30,000 issued. Right? Plus additional, how much the additional? So the additional was yung 50,000. Uh, so this was the latest one. So 80. Yung sabi dyan, 5% daw yung stocks uh, dividend. So, therefore, 4,000 lang yung increase sa shares. So, 4,000 times at par value na 100, right? 100 yung par value. So, that's why the common stock is at 400. And, syempre, the 4,000 okay, is issued at common stock na no, market value 100. So, that's why 4,000 times uh, 110 so, this is to be debited sa retain earnings. So, 440 yung deduction sa retain earnings. Kasi dividends, diba? This is deduction sa retain earnings. Uh, so, the exist one, that will be attributable to additional paid in capital. Next, and the last for 2019, which is yung net income. 
So the net income of Blackpink for the year end of December 31,019 was 475. So take note iba yung net income is close to retain earnings. Okay, it will be charged to retain earnings. It will be credited to retain earnings. That's why 475 is added to retain earnings. Then get the balances and this will be the beginning balance for the next year 2020. Ayan. So we're done with 2019. The next one is yung 2020. Ayan. So you do have here the transactions during 2020. First one is yung reacquisition of 3,000 shares. So this is the treasury shares. So treasury shares are recorded, always remember, ah, at cost. So that's why 3,000 multiplied by 95, that is the amount for treasury stocks or treasury shares. Right? Magkano pala siya again? So, it is, uh, uh, asan yun sa? 3,000. Uh, so, 3,000 multiplied by 95. Yan. So, meron siyang 285 as debited to treasury stock. Then, cash credit for 285. So, the next one here is yung nasold na uli. Okay? Yung treasury stocks. So, as you can see, 1.5 was sold at 1.20. So, therefore, syempre, always treasury stock are recorded at cost. That's why, 1.42.500 lang. So, bakit 1.42.500? It's because, 1.5 yung na-sold multiplied by the cost. Uh, yung acquisition cost, 95. So, that's why, the treasury stock is deducted at 1.42.500. Okay. And then, syempre, 140,500, pero, pero, yung shares were sold above okay, the cost. So, above cost. Okay. Di ba, 120 yung price, and then the cost is 95. So, meron sa excess na 25. So, this excess, this will be attributable to additional paid in capital or yung share premium treasury. So, 25 times 1.5, this will be share premium treasury na 37.500. Okay. So, the next one here is yung uh, August 10, right? But this August 10 is just memorandum entry for stock right. And yung September 15 naman, so ito, this is the ano, uh, exercise of the stock rights. Remember lang that the stock rights were exercised no, at 125. Of course, this was the agreement 125. So therefore, di ba, ano pala yung agreement? So, Blackpink sold 1.5 share, ano, ano, issued to stockholders one stock right for each share held to purchase two additional shares. So, one stock right is equivalent to two shares. So, dapat multiplied by two yun sa. So, for 125 per share, and the rights expire on December 31, 2020. Okay, so September 15, meron siyang 25. Sabi natin kanina, 25 and then 2. Bakit siya 2? It's because 1 stock rights, meron siyang 25, uh, 2 shares. That's why, 25, uh -huh, times, magkano yun siya? 2. So, meron siyang 50,000 shares. Now, the question here is, what will be the basis for the consideration ng 50? 130 ba? Or, 125 per agreement. So, syempre, the basis is yung 125 per agreement. Uh, this was the agreement. So, therefore, uh, 125 yung consideration. Syempre, at uh, common stock is at par value. So, 50,000 multiplied by 100. So, meron sa 5,000 na common stock. And the excess, which is 25. So, 50,000 times 25 na excess. So, meron sa 1 to 50 as a peak additional pili in capital. And same with number uh, over 31 transactions, so 40 stocks were exercised at the market value of common stocks so 140. So, 40,000 multiplied by 2. Bakit siya 2? It's because, yung sabi ko kanina, 1 stock rights, meron siyang 2 shares. So, 80,000 shares yung na-issued. Okay, so, 80,000 multiplied by 100, that's the common stock na 8 million. 
and the exact so sa gika ng 2,000 million is yung 125 na agreement minus 100 so nasa exact nga ba chinko okay. so 80,000 times 25 na exact so meron sa 2 million as a pick okay. so additional piling capital for 2 million Okay, and the next one, ito yung dividends. Ito, medyo vivo siya. So, Blackpink declared cash dividends of 2 per share payable on January 5, 2021 and the stockholders of record on December 31, 2020. So, then they will be your debit retained earnings for this one, right? So, therefore, mayroong deduction sa retained earnings of 425. Question lang, kasi higit ka ng 425. Right. So, isa lang man ang common stock, isa lang ang shares din, which is common stock. So, pwede rin nyo gamitin nyo siya, guys. So, i-add nyo muna siya kanin. Hello. Divided by the par value. Okay? So, kumbaga, pila ganin nyo sila ka ng ganin. So, diba first is 8.4. Ayan. 8.4. Plus 5 million. Plus 8 million. So, na siya ay share capital 21 for 400. And divided by 100. 100 sa power value, so nasa ay 214 na shares. 214,000 na shares. Saan niya siya ha? 240,000 na shares. And syempre, dividends are okay, intended only for uh, yung outstanding. Ayan. So, so it means to say, yung 214 yung issued minus treasury stocks. Di ba? Take a look at this one. 3,000 yung treasury stocks, right? And then, na-resold yung 1.5. So, 1.5 na lang ang nabili. As treasury stock. So, minus ni mo ang, sa 2.14, ang 1.5. So, one, minus 1.5 shares. Okay. Ah. Again, 2.14,000 minus 1.5 na shares for treasury stock. So, nasa si 2.12,500 na outstanding. Okay. So, outstanding, this one, multiplied by 2. Okay. So, kasi 2 yung cash dividends per share. Okay. So, therefore, meron siyang 425 as dividends. Ito, 425 as dividends. Okay. So, 425 as dividends. Okay. So, hoping clear na to ha. So, get this one. Ah, divided by 100 to compute for the number of shares. Pero, ilas pa ni mo ang uh, kuna ay nabili ng treasury stock. And then, at December 30, uh, 20, right? December 20, Blackpink retired 1,000 shares. So, you worded them to the initial basis. So, on this date, the market value of the common stock is 1. Okay, so, disregard this one. Kasi the basis of this one is yung cost. So, 1,000, okay, ba 1,000 yun ang retired na shares. Multiplied by the cost per share nga 95. Diba? 95 yung cost ng share. So, therefore, na sa treasury stock deducted yung 95. Okay. And, syempre, common stock is also deducted kasi retired na siya. Para siyang kinancel or di kaya yung nag-extinguish na siya ng company. So, that's why, as you can see here, yun niya, uh, 1,000 times at par value. So, 1,000 times at par value na 100. So, meron sa common stock na 100. So, yung difference ng 95 at saka 100, it will be attributable. Supposed to be, no? The first one is, di ba meron siyang hierarchy? Ang una is ang share premium, original issuance. Next is share premium treasury shares. And the last one is for retained earnings. But in this case kasi, isa naman ang APIC, no? So, automatic, APIC na lang tanan. Napang may balance APIC na ko pagani. So that's why 5,000 is intended entirely for APIC. Okay. And then, the next one here is yung, and the last one is the net income. Net income is 500. So, copy nyo lang dito. Siyempre, net income is sa retained earnings na siya. So, 500. Add mo lang lahat. That is the total common stock. And that is the answer for number 1, 21,300. Letter B. Ayan. Then for number 2, uh, add mo lang lahat yung APIC. That is the additional pinning capital for 4, 6, uh, 3, 2, 500. Uh, 
Okay. Ayan. And then, sa retail earnings naman, this one, put mo lang lahat. So, it will have 560. So, 560 is the answer letter D. Okay. And the last one here is yung treasury stock, which is 185 minus 145 minus 95. So, meron siyang 47,500 na balance for treasury stock. So, the answer is letter B. So, ganyan lang po. So, as long as you do have the pro forma, ito, Don't forget to put comma star attic with an earnings account ratio And then the next one here is yung problem number two. So problem number two is twice naman. Twice na po dyan. So twice incorporated was organized January 2019. So was authorized share capital stock of 50,000 and then shares 10%. Na 200 par value preferred. And then, ito, 20,000 shares of no par. So, no stated value. So, questionably, kaya din siya, no? Kaya dapat na, binary si stated value. So, syempre, this is for problem lang. Okay, so, during the first two years, the companies existed the following the selected transactions to place. So, first one, 2019. So, wala siyang beginning. Right? Kasi nga, this is the first year pa lang niya, yung 2019. So, first one is sold 10,000 shares common stock at 16. So, 10,000 times 16 lang po kasi walang par value entirely that is charged to common stock. Issuance of preference shares, which is 216. So, syempre, at par value na preference shares is 200. So, 200 multiplied by 3,000, that is 600. Okay? And they exist that will be attributable to the additional pitting capital, which is 16, right? Baka si 16 kasi 200 yung power value, saka 216 yung consideration. So, meron siyang 16 na exists multiplied by 3,000. So, the up-peak is 48,000. Ayan. And then, second, third one here is the issuance of common shares. So, 10,000 times 22 plus yung 2,700 times 25. Ganun lang po. So, add mo lang lahat. That is 305, 100. Then, for July 10, so, acquire nearby piece of land appraisal is 400. So, itong ako nila between preference shares na 600 at saka yung common shares na 27,000. But, this is sabi kasi sa problem, the preferred stock was recorded at 216. But 216 yun siya and they exist will be attributable to common stock. So therefore, 216 yan. So 216 times 600 This is for treasury stock, right? Then minus ni mo at treasury stock for preferences minus ni mo sa 400 So meron siyang 270-400 for common stock. And syempre, ang pre-preference, preference is recorded at par value. So, magkano pala yung shares? 600, right? 600 shares. And the par value is 200. So, 600 times 200, so meron siyang 120 preferred stock. And they exist. Okay. So, yung 216 or 16 multiplied by 600. Okay, right? That is 16 multiplied by 600. So, meron siyang 9,600 as the APIC additional PDN capital. Okay? And the next one here is declaration of preference dividends saka yung common dividends. So, yung preference here actually, so wala siya nakalagay, no? It's madali lang po. It's because add mo lang ito eron dalawa multiplied by 10%. Kasi 10% is yung regular. Okay. Regular nila na dividends. So 600 plus 120 720, right? 720 times 10%. So meron siyang preference na 72. Okay? And therefore, common shares ito medyo mahirap because iba kasi yung mga prices. 
So, we, we cannot use yung shortcut. So, compute nyo na lang. 100, uh, 10,000, ayan. So, 10,000, plus mo yung uh, 10,8 at saka 2,7. 10,8 at saka 2,7. So, 10,8 at saka yung 2,7. Plus mo ulit yung last 1 na 27. Okay, yung July 10 transaction sa so 27. So, mayroon siyang total common stock or common shares na 50,500. So, this will be the basis to multiply the 1.5 na common dividends. So, 50,500 multiplied by 1.5. 1.5. So, meron siyang 75, 750. Okay. So, 75. So, this is 75, 750. So, add mo lang yung dalawa. 75, 750 for ordinary shares plus yung 72,000 for preference shares. So, meron siyang 147, 750 na retain earnings deducted for dividends. O, so, ganun lang po. And then, the last one is your net income. A net income, credit balance for 450, therefore, for credit balance sa income summary. So, yung misis yung mas dako ang income kisa sa expense. So, meron siyang net income, 450. And it will be added. Okay? So, foot mo lang lahat. This is now the beginning balance for 2020 or the ending balance of 2019. Okay. And let's proceed to 2020. Ayan. So, re-awkward. So, it means to see treasury shares, no? 12,000 shares at common stock of the common stock at 90. But, syempre, take note again, treasury shares are recorded at cost. So, 12,000 times 19, that is the cost of treasury shares, nga 2 to 8. Okay. So, that's why the treasury shares is 220. So, naka-opposite naka na siya, no? Naka-opposite na siya. Ayan. And then, uh, resale of treasury shares. Okay, so as you can see here, merong resale above cost. So, kasi nga, the resold is 10,000 and then, it was resold for 23, which is more than 19. Okay. So, meron silang 4 na difference. So, that's why, syempre, Treasury stock is recorded always at cost. So, meron siyang 190, which is 19 times 10,000. And then, they exist. Okay, so, yung 23 at saka 19. Ayan, 23 minus 30. So, meron siyang 4 pesos nga exist. Multiply mo lang sa number of shares, treasury shares. So, meron siyang uptick or share premium treasury na 40,000. Okay. And then, the next one, ito, it was resold, treasury stock or resold below the cost. Okay. So, 80 na siya. So, meron siyang difference na 1, 4. Okay. But, syempre, don't forget once again, treasury stock is recorded at cost. So, magkano yung acquisition? Uh, so, 19 times, uh, huh? all remaining 2,000, right? So, 19 times 2,000. So, 19 times 2,000 na remaining, uh, 19, sorry, sorry, this is supposed to be now. 19 times 2,000 remaining, so meron sa 38, okay. It will be deducted sa treasury shares, and they exist yung 1 peso, okay. So yung 1 peso na difference for 2,000, di ba, 2,000 na lang na nabilin, multiply by 1 peso, it's because difference ng 19 at saka 18. So, meron siyang 2,000 na charge to a peak. Additional pending capital. Next one is yung sold additional shares for 11. Multiply by 21. So, meron siyang 231. Next one is yung declare dividends. Ayan. So, nakadeclare siya, na, siya ng dividends here. Regular preference dividends and 0 0.80 common dividends. So, regular, same pa rin, no? walang changes sa preference stock. So, therefore, the preference share dividend is 72,000. And then, the common stock, ito. So, let's get, okay, the number of shares. Ayan. Diba, previously, previously, this was 5,500. 
Ito yung beginning. Plus additional this year, ano yung na-add lang, ato previous lang, 11,000. Okay. So, 11 lang yung na-add, diba? So, plus 11. Okay. So, wala namang treasury shares, so automatically 61,500 multiplied by uh, point multiplied by point 80. So, meron siyang 49,200 for common stock. 49,200. So, add mo lang yung dalawa. 49,200 at saka yung 72,000 na regular preference dividends. So, meron siyang 1 to 1, 200. Okay? So, 1 to 1, 200 na retain earnings charge as dividends. And lastly, the net income of 425. So, foot mo lang lahat. The answer for number one is letter C, which is the preference dividend. Same pa rin, no? Na 720. And for answer number two naman, it is 966500. Ito, add mo lang lahat. Foot mo lang. So, letter B. And for number three naman, this is 95600, which is, ito, add mo lang lahat. 95600. And then, for number four, which is yung total, right? Total. Ayan, total. Total mo lang lahat ito. Add mo lang muna ito. This is 606,050. And since na wala na yung ano, treasury stock, so add mo lang itong apat. So the total amount of uh, shareholders equity is 238,850. And this is letter B. Okay. So that is for Uh, equity, no? Sa so, Sandita of Equity. So, thank you very much for listening po. Goodbye and God bless.